Okay, so now we're going to go inside the car and review it. So we're going to open the door. Yeah, so this is parked since October. I haven't driven it yet. I plan to take it out in April and start driving it in May. Just, oh, okay, so... Oh, I love the new car smell. So, I have blankets all over the car. Because I'm storing the car... I'm going to close the door. Because I'm storing the car, I don't want any leather getting cracked. So we can see the Caesar leather. Uh, these seats are from the War Upper Class Sedan. Really cool. So the back end, I'll show you the back first. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. So we have those lights, I love those lights. So, uh, what do we have here? We've got some storage compartments. I have access to the trunk. So close this up. I got some uh, controls here for the climate. So let me get rid of this. All this junk. Okay, so it's got dome lights. Anyone, any car has that. It's got reading lamps. It's got vanity mirrors. They're working. Uh, let's see. It's got the sunroof. Well, I'll show you that later. So, it has power seats. So, I'll show you what these do. So, that's the door handle. Here's your lock, your door locks. Here's your windows. Uh, window controls, window lock, and you have, um, this controls your side mirrors, and they're heated. And this is a adjustable power seat, so we'll give you a demonstration. So if I touch, um, this one right here, it'll make my seat go up or down, so I'll do that. And then this one will go back or forward. And this one here adjusts your seat, so. Pretty cool. So now it has a floor mounted shifter, uh, four speed automatic. And it's got a compartment where you can put your CDs. It's got some beer holders. Get it open, there we go. It's got beer holders. And uh, let's see what else it has on it before I start the car. Whoops. It's got. Hang on a second. There we go. It's got toilet lamps. Interior lights, um, it's got cruise control, wipers, misting, every car has that. Uh, it's got the famous GM pedals for uh, six-cylinder sedans, so I'll show you that. There they are, pedals. For the, pe for the pedal f uh, fetish people. Uh, we don't need to prime this car since it's uh, sequential fuel injected. That's awesome. So, let's see how the car starts up. Uh, so here's the uh, GM key. It's got a theft, theft lock, so that's a resistor. That was pretty cool. Okay, there we go. So, it reads 135,203 kilometers. Okay, so then 
There's this button on the left, it's called trip. This is your trip. And this ENM will tell you, will convert your mileage into, um, from kilometers to miles, so that's 84,029 miles. It's pretty cool. It's got fastened seatbelts. Uh, it's got traction control right here, TC. So now it has this traction off. It's got your temperature. Oh, it's really it's plus seven degrees Celsius. That's really warm for especially in February. And if I press E and M, converts it to Fahrenheit, which is forty-four degrees Fahrenheit. And it's got dual climate zones, so climb works for the passenger and the driver. Uh, the coolest it can go to is sixty degrees Fahrenheit or. 15 degrees Celsius. That's really cool. Oh wow, the air conditioning is working. And the warmest it can go is to 32 degrees Celsius or 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's got front and rear defrost, um, upper, by level, lower, and defog. Um, it's got the radio, um, CD player, and tape deck. It's actually pretty cool. So I'll give you this demonstration of the um, sunroof. So that works. And it can go this way. We're living in luxury here. There we go. And the steering wheel's got audio mapping controls, so let's see, I'll pick the radio. Um, oh, and then, okay, so this controls your fan speed. So, I'm pressing this up and see the fan go. And you have your temperature gauge right here. Pressing up goes warmer, pressing down goes cooler. You can see temperature's going down, going up. Then you have your controls, louder, or smaller, or lower. Seek will give you your Give you your, your channels. Program. These are select channels. It's a pretty cool car. And also, what I like about this feature that most GM cars have this. You shut off the engine. The radio stays on until you um, open the door. And what I also love about this feature of my car is that it has this antenna that goes up when you start the car, when you put on the radio. So I'll demonstrate that. That's pretty cool. So it has trunk release, so I'll show you where that is on my car. On the window. Trunk release is right here. So we'll put it on. And we'll press this button for this trunk. There we go. Chunk is open. Let's go. Whoa. Let's go see what I have. So this is kind of a small trunk. Kind of expected a bit wider. 
Yeah, but it's pretty spacious. You can you can put a lot of dead bodies in here. <laughs> So that's my car. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty sweet automobile. Oldsmobile. My god, this is slippery. So, I'll show you what else I have on the car. As, as a last feature. Guys, oh. excuse me. I have to walk slow. I don't want to fall and kill myself. <laughs> Okay, so this is a Eaton M90 Roots 2 supercharger. I forgot to mention that in my other part. It's got the funky alternator, pretty different style than I had in my Lumina. So I had the lock and had the remote locks, and I have a automatic starter. So we can just do that and see how it starts. Gotta love it. And also, I forgot to mention, for the year, it has a pretty sophisticated rear view mirror. And again, it is a luxury then, and this is my first luxury car. So it has a compass where it registers north, south, east, west, and northeast, northwest, southwest, southeast. And it has a mirror where it tints so that you don't get blinded by the high beams. And same goes for the side mirrors too. So gotta love your Oldsmobiles. It's such a shame that GM killed them. Anyways, so uh, take care.